Are you excited? Hey, little LT learners, it's me, Lieutenant Learning, and this time we have a special guest. Yeah, he's my friend, Corporal Kai, and we're gonna go learn all kinds of cool things, right? What are we gonna learn about, Corporal Kai? Dinosaur! Yeah, we're gonna go to a dinosaur museum where we get to see real life fossils. And then we get to smash open a dinosaur egg and put a dinosaur together. It's gonna be so much fun. Come on, let's go! Ready, set, learn, and mine is ready, set, explore. I guess you could say they go together like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> we're going here, we're going there, we're gonna explore. There's so much to do and I wanna do more, yeah. really really cool these are actually called ruins something that was left from the past and it encapsulates a lot of really cool history this building was actually abandoned long long ago Whoa! <laughs> do you see my friend here maverick that's what i call him and he's actually called a dynamo terror Whoa! Whoa! but he's anything but scary he's actually really really cool because he's extinct he doesn't live on this planet anymore, and that means that he no longer roams the Earth. But you can still find his remains in the ground, all over the planet. Whoa. Later, Dynamo Terror! Catch you on the flip side! Whoa! Do you see this massive creature behind me? Yeah, it's not like a dinosaur that you would think of today, but it was prehistoric. Can you think of any other animal that this looks like? Yeah, it looks a lot like an elephant. It's actually called a Pacific Mastodon. Whoa! Whoa. Isn't it massive? It's not a complete skeleton of one, but you can see a lot of the different parts, see? is actually a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and they actually have a partial skeleton. That means they just have pieces of one, but you could see where all the other vertebrae and rib bones and leg bones would go. Whoa. It is so cool and so much fun seeing and exploring new things, and especially seeing dinosaurs. You definitely don't see those every day. Mammoth skull? Yeah, it is really, really big. Do you see the size and magnitude of it? Whoa, I couldn't even wrap my arms around it if I tried. They're actually related to the elephant. Whoa. Hey, look behind me. Do you see this one too? Whoa, this one is even bigger. Do you see these tusks? Whoa, they actually use those tusks to protect their territory. They would show, hey, my tusks are really big and you better leave me alone and so other animals wouldn't challenge them. Whoa. And they're really cool. They actually use their tusks and their trunk as an arm to move branches and stuff like that. Whoa. It is so cool seeing pieces of history like this. Hey, do you see these other dinosaurs behind me? These are actually dinosaurs that are called herbivores. That means they only ate plants. And there's some dinosaurs that only ate meat, and those are called carnivores. Whoa. And then there's creatures that eat both plants and meat, and those are called omnivores. Yeah. Whoa, all this talk about dinosaurs makes me wonder what dinosaurs really looked like. What about you, Corporal Kai? You wonder what dinosaurs look like? Hey, where did you go? I'm holding this dinosaur. Ah, to eat you. <laughs> he looks like a scary dinosaur! Oh, he's trying to get me! Oh, he's coming for me! 
He's so scary. Hey, I think the egg's over here somewhere. You know where they are? No. Okay, let's look for them. <laughs> I think they're over here somewhere. You see the eggs? No. No? Oh, wait. I think you just stepped on one. You just found a dinosaur egg. Here, I'll hold that while we look for the other one. He's over here. Oh, he found it. Look. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, are yes. you excited? Yeah, you do that. Okay, let me hold this because kids should never play with adult tools unless they have supervision. Whoa. Almost there. Whoa. Hey, look, we cracked it open. It sounds like there's a prehistoric dinosaur in there. Listen. Whoa. Whoa. Corporal Kai busted the egg open with the hammer. And then look what's inside. Whoa, we got a really cool egg here. We're gonna open the bag and see what's inside. Are you excited? Yeah. Me too. Okay, I'm gonna peel it open. Whoa, there it is. Whoa. Look at what's inside, Corporal Kai. A mini dinosaur. A mini dinosaur was inside. This is where our dinosaur is. Should we open it up and see? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Look it! We have to put pieces of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Are you ready? Yeah, you put it right there. Whoa, it looks like a tail. Do you see the tail? Hey, look it, there's something else in there. Whoa! You know what I think this is? Yeah. Does this look like kinetic sand? Yeah! Whoa, I think this is kinetic sand. We have to put the other arm on. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, okay, here I go. Whoa, look it! You did it, Corporal Kai, you put the dinosaur's tail on. It looks like he's complete, look. Whoa! Whoa. It was in all kinds of different pieces, and then we took the time to put it together. Yeah, that's like in life. When you take the time to do something, you can make something really, really cool. And this dinosaur's really, really cool. Ah! dig site below me? Whoa, it's actually been encapsulated and protected in glass. That is so cool. Did you know that a paleontologist, that's actually someone that goes to school to learn all about dinosaur bones and dig sites, and they actually curate all of these bones. And curate just means goes and collects. They go into the field and they dig away the dirt with machines and sometimes big heavy equipment to move a majority of the dirt and then they get into the nitty gritty with the small tools. Yeah, those are really important for paleontologists and scientists in general. They use a lot of tools just like that to make sure that dig sites like this are not only protected but properly excavated. Do you want to be a paleontologist with me today and go dig and break open some dinosaur bones and see what's inside? Yeah, me too, come on! Hey, do you see my friend over here? Yeah, this is actually an herbivore. Check it out, you see its teeth? They're not sharp at all. This one has really sharp teeth. And this one eats meat. Hey, you think we could be friends? Yeah, just because we're different doesn't mean we can't be friends. This one only eats plants, and this one only eats meat. But they're gonna be friends regardless of their differences. Whoa. Hey, check this out. Do you see this right here? Whoa! It's actually a fossil tooth. And we're gonna break this open and see what's inside. I'm so excited. Yeah! This is so much fun, breaking this open to see what's inside. Oh, do you see that? I see something green. Whoa! I can't wait to see what it is. Whoa! Do you see this fossil? Yeah! Isn't that really cool? This magnifying glass actually helps me see things that are really small with great detail. Whoa, that is so cool. There it is, check it out. Whoa! It looks like a hammerhead shark. Whoa! Whoa. That is so cool. We found a green hammerhead shark. Why don't we go and take an impression of it? Yeah, let's turn it into another type of fossil. Whoa! Time 
to unveil our fossil. Whoa, you can see the impression of it on top. Whoa! But you can really see the impression of it on the bottom. Whoa! Here at the Western Science Center, you can actually do all kinds of really cool interactive and creative things. Beneath my feet? Yeah, it makes music. Listen. Whoa! <laughs> Speaking of making music, there's all kinds of instruments over here for us to play with. Come on, let's go check them out. Check out this ball wall. <laughs> it's got magnets on it, and that just means that it can stick to the metal back here, and you can make any kind of really cool design that you want. And one of our friends here at the museum did this all on their own. Watch this, are you ready? I hear it, it's moving through, it's coming up. <laughs> hey, let's go play over here, come on. Who thought making music could be so colorful and sound so good all at the same time? Check this out. so fun making all this noise and watching these cool pieces move and sway. Do you see some colors here? <laughs> Me too, I see a lot of different colors. Hey, let's just point out a few real quick. This is the color. Yeah, that's the color red and purple and blue and green and yellow, orange and red. Oh, there's a lot of other variations of those colors in between. Before we get carried away talking about all the different colors, because there are so many here, let's talk about some noise. Yeah, different noise and sounds that you can make to create something really, really beautiful. Check this out. Whoa! Whoa. That is so cool, making different sounds with those PVC pipes. What I'm holding, it almost looks like it would stay on my hands, but look, it all comes right off. That's because it's actually kinetic sand. It's held together by different polymers and sand mixed together. So it's made from silicate and plastic to make something really, really cool. Do you want to see something really awesome? Watch this. You can actually take it and then put it in a mold and it works really, really well with making sand castles. I can't wait to show you. Whoa! Look at, we have our very own castle. Hey, what should we name it? How will we name it? Castle Fossil. <laughs> well, I'm actually gonna put this right down here and we're gonna go explore. Come on. Whoa, this is actually called a sensory box. Whoa. Do you want to know what my favorite colors are? I bet you can guess. Yeah, they're actually green, yellow. My two favorite colors. It just so happens the ink pad has my favorite colors right here. Check it out. Hey, what are your favorite colors? Are they actually like orange or blue? Because they have that here too. Whoa. You see this behind me? It's actually called a shadow box. Whoa, isn't this cool? And I'm thinking, well, it's a shadow box. Well, I know one way to find out. Let's go inside and see. Whoa, do you see all the colors on my face and all the colors behind me? Wow, this is actually a shadow box with primary colors. And you know how much I love primary colors. Whoa, can you tell me some of the colors that you see? I see the color red, and I see blue, and I see yellow. Whoa, shadow boxes are so much fun. That is so cool. Whoa, I had 
so much fun hanging out at this prehistoric playhouse with you. Whoa, there was so much to see and do and interact with. And I had so much fun making friends with you. And that reminds me to always be a friend. That means sharing your toys, being kind, and always giving others a turn. <laughs> if you like our videos, please be sure to type in LT Learning. <laughs> and you'll find our videos on YouTube. Take care. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.